Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Samas, and as y'all can see from the setup, this basic setup that I have, this is gonna be a basic video for y'all. So, as y'all have seen from my previous videos, I've done a lot of vlogging showing y'all malls and Rio, Firebomb, the houses, the type of restaurant that they have here, such as Day Choice. But in today's video, I actually wanna tell y'all about my experiences in Nigeria. Just like give a deep thoughts on how I feel about Nigeria being here for two years, because as, as I told y'all in previous videos, I've been here for two years now. I originally came in Nigeria in October 2020, and now it's March 2022, and Nigeria's been such a good run, man. Such a good one being here, learning so much in Nigeria, learning so much about myself, the people here, the food, like everything here, the libraries, going to just so many unique places in Uyo Aquaibom. And so in today's video, I want to give my thoughts on how I really feel being in Nigeria. So y'all already know my name. My name is Amas and y'all, as y'all can tell from my accent, I'm an Amer I'm an African American. I was born in Houston, Texas, America, but my family, my parents are from Nigeria, therefore making me a Nigerian American. So, and of course with that, the whole lot of thing with American kids, especially when they're from like a different country, is that our parents, our family members, they want to show us home, right? They want to show us the benefits of, be, of being able to come home and seeing a different lifestyle as opposed to the lifestyle that you're used to. Like for me, I'm used to America, but now being here for two years now, I'm really accustomed to the life in Nigeria. I've learned so much being in Nigeria. And so I want to start off with the stuff that I've learned being in Nigeria. So the first thing I want to talk about is learning how to cook. So we all know about coronavirus, how when that happened, a whole lot of stuff was happening. Food items were being taken up, the um, toilet paper, all that was just being sold out of different stores. And so that was around a time period where everybody was learning how to cook because over in America, most of the restaurants were closed. Chili's, McDonald's, most of them were closed. So that was a time period for us to really learn how to cook. But even though I was learning how to cook over there, I didn't really master learning how to cook until I came here in Nigeria. So Nigeria, I learned a whole lot of dishes and our dishes are very nutritious, very delicious. So jollof rice, beans with plantain, beans with boiled plantain porridge, yam and egg stew, all that, I learned all that being here. Like I, I'll even tell you all a fun, a fun story. Over there, I could not hold a knife. I could not hold a knife at all. But being over here in Nigeria, I've learned how to hold a knife. I can cut onions. I can do all that being here in Nigeria. Nigeria has taught me how to be a better cook. There, there's even times where I cook for the whole family. Like my mom, she doesn't have to cook at all for us because most, most of the time, I'm the one that does the cooking, whether it be the beans or any other food, Nigerian food out there. I'm the one that does the cooking majority of the time now, which gives my mom much deserved rest and need. So that's one thing that I thank Nigeria so much for is learning how to cook now. The other thing I love so much about Nigeria is the healthy lifestyle in Nigeria. So the healthy lifestyle in Nigeria. So one thing I noticed about the people here in Nigeria is that they're very fit. Not in Nigeria, like Uyo, Kwaibam specifically, since I'm living here currently. The people here are very strong. When you go to the market, you see all these type of old people. Old people, young people, middle-aged people. They're so strong, so fit, and I'm like, the food we eat here is so nutritious. It comes from the trees, it comes from the plant life. It's nutritious. Our food is very nutritious, very delicious. Like, you can grow anything, plantain out of the tree, all kinds of food is grown out of the tree. And besides the, besides the healthy lifestyle that I love so much here, well, no, let me even go deeper into that because over here, even the, even like the snacks and all that, the food, is it's not sugary, it's not had none of that like processed fat because over there in America, I won't lie, there's a whole lot of processed food over there. And one thing I noticed here in Nigeria is that there's not that much of that. Like even like the cakes and all that, it, you don't really feel that type of sugar that you would in a different like country setting with the way they have their treats, right? So that's another thing I love about Nigeria is just how nutritious and how healthy the food is here. And 
I, I've never said this on the channel, but even growing up as a kid in America, I always preferred Nigerian food because while we were in America, my mom still gave us that Nigerian feeling where we listened to music such as Peace Square, Flavor, any of those guys that was reigning back then in the early 2010s, and also us eating Nigerian food because I'll be honest with y'all, I don't like even when I was over there, I didn't really eat American food like that. Even here, I did not eat American food like that. I was always a Nigerian food boy, still am to this day, and our food is quite delicious now. Besides that, let me talk about the environment. So another thing I love about the environment is just how free and how greenish the place is. So like when you walk out, you see all kinds of greenish life. Like you see so many trees, so many plants, you see plantain growing from the trees. You see wildlife, like you see so many goats walking around freely, chicken. I even, there was even this one day where I saw a whole bunch of ducks just having fun, you know, like having fun in the water. And it's just, it's just so fun seeing the wildlife here. You really see all kinds of wildlife, especially when you go to the market and you're getting ready to like, let's say kill a goat or something for your, for you to have as a meal for let's say a goosey soup, afan soup or a, a bono soup. Like, it's amazing seeing the wildlife here. So another thing that I love about Nigeria is that it's given me a time to reflect on my life because here in Nigeria, you have limited access to light, sometimes Wi-Fi and sometimes water when they decide to not give light for a certain amount of time. That really gives you a time to reflect on, upon yourself. Like, hey, I don't have this huge distraction because over in the United States, we had 24 seven light because you know, you pay your bills, they give you access to that 24 hour light, water, and internet. It just depends on you being able to pay every time there's a deadline. So, and with that, it gives you access to basically just have your mind go somewhere else, like whether it's watching TV, watching a movie, playing video games. Me, I mean, I was back in America, I was a huge guy. I used to play my PlayStation 4 all the time. I didn't have no time for myself. So now being in this setting where you don't have the time to always be on your PlayStation or or on your, or on the TV because sometimes it'll take light is refreshing because of the fact that now that you don't have your mind there, you have your mind on something more important, which is like your life, how you want to build yourself. And so the people here, I, I, I just like, I like how the people here are like down to earth too. Like the people here, like I met some nice people here. Like the people who you are just so down to earth, like they're so nice. Like when you go to the market, they help you with so much stuff. Like say, like say you're trying to get like 500 naira plantain, right? Ripe plantain or the non-ripe plantain. They'll help you so much. They'll help you with with the huge bags. They help. Like the people here are so helpful. They're so down to earth, and that's one thing I love about Uyo is the people. The people here are so amazing, and then and then the, this place is so peaceful. It's so peaceful here. Like it's so quiet here, and then when when it rains in Uyo, especially at night, it gives you that chill weather. Especially combined with your AC, when you have that AC plus that chilly weather you get late at night when it rains or it wants to be windy in New York, it's so cool and refreshing. It reminds me so much of Houston every time it rains or it's very windy. So that's another thing I love about night about um, New York, is that the weather can get very nice. It can become very nice. So another thing I love about Nigeria is that it's so family oriented, friendly oriented too. Like say you're at the at the dining table, right? You just finished making food for the whole family, right? They are open to you sitting with them. That's one thing I know because here being with my with my family members in, in Nigeria, it's just so open. Like they, they, they tell you to come sit with them. You have a nice talk about your um, experiences, whether it be in school, America, anything. They're just so freely open-minded to you to just be able to discuss with your with your, with your family. So that's another thing I love about Nigeria that is so family-oriented, and you can basically say anything you want to say to your family members, and they'll be okay to listen to you. So that's another thing that I love being here. So, and another thing is that you really learn more about yourself being in Nigeria. You learn so much about yourself being in Nigeria because, like I said before, you don't you don't you don't you're not really like distracted by by um the constant light because they don't really bring light like that all the time you know like sometimes there's days where you will get light like for a long time maybe like for like four or five days and then they take it away again but being here in nigeria it gives you that time to think by yourself like hey what do i want to do like do i want to be this do i want to be that what skills can i learn can i learn how to on the gym because being here i've learned so much man before before when i would open the gate i would always have 
gloves to open the gate, but now my hands become so strong, I don't need to do that anymore. So that's another thing. Nigeria, it makes you tough too, because before I cannot open the gate, I cannot do this, I cannot on the generator, I cannot take oil out of the generator and then refill it with some more oil. Now I can do all that being here. Like before in America, I didn't even know that generators existed. I did not know about that. But being here, I know about generators now. I know how to work them, I know how to on it, off it, take out oil, put oil back in. That's been another great experience too, learning how to work generators here. So another thing is that, um, and I think that the people here are so welcoming to a Nigerian African American. Like, say, like we all know, like the people of Africa, they're very welcoming to you know their brothers and sisters that are in other foreign countries, whether it be in um, whether it be in America or any other place. But when you come home and when they find out that you're also Nigerian, you have Nigerian parents, they're so open to you. Like, hey, brother, hey, sister, come, let, let, let's show you how it's done in Nigeria. Let's show you how we work the generator. Let's show you how we work light pumping water with a generator. Let's show you how it was done here in Nigeria because this is your home too. Like we know that you were born over there, but this is your home too. And we want you to feel, you know, comfortable being here in your home because this is your home as well. You know, this is where your family, your origins, your ancestors is from. So I like how welcoming the people of Nigeria are here when they, when they notice that you're from there, but you're also technically from here too because your family was, you know, originated here from. So that's another thing I love. So I don't think I really have anything else to say. I think I've talked about the animals, the nature. Yeah, the constant light. I've talked all about that. But yeah, being here in Nigeria has been a great experience, man. Great experience. Like, there's just so much more that I want to discover in Uyo Kwaibong. Because the malls, everything has been amazing so far. But yeah, guys, I just want this talk down to be a brief where I just give you my thoughts being in Nigeria. And if you want a part two of something like this, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this discussion video, please hit the like button, also subscribe to the channel as it helps out. And I really appreciate it. And yeah, hope you all continue having a nice week and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.